The first time I really got into painting was when I was 12. I feel like an outsider in my younger years. I always struggled making friends. I would just always stay alone. I painted whenever I was like overwhelmed emotionally and also made me happy a lot of times. My paintings, they tell a certain story about people that are often overlooked in our society. Smile, work ahead. It shows how sometimes society really pressures us to put a smile on when we don't really feel like smiling. It originated from my own struggles to smile sometimes in public whenever I was surrounded by people. What happened to you? It shows revisiting the dreams they had when they were a little kid. So in the painting, the murals are cracked, but it's still there. That means you still have potential. So the message is, even though you think it's too late, you still can achieve whatever your goal is. I started chanting Nami Horengeki more seriously when I was 19 years old because I really wanted to transform my negativity into positivity. I I was a very self-hatred person. I always doubt my own decisions and Chanting Nami Horengeki makes me feel like nothing is impossible. It just fills me up with so much hope. That's the best way to explain why chanting Nami Horengeki is powerful. I think definitely the uh, essence of this Buddhism, like the joy you get um, from making others happy is the type of joy that can never be like compared. It's, it's just amazing and um, like everyone is precious and deserves to be respected and loved. I think that can be linked to my intention with my paintings. And that's why I like to tell a lot of different stories of people um, so that I could make them feel a sense of home and belonging. Yeah, that's pretty much um, the purpose of my art.